hi this is iREG you're welcome to this tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a slanted wall in Revit just like you have it here as you can see this is a slanted wall I have been working on this project I decided to use it to answer a question someone asked me which is how can we make a slanted wall in Revit if you're using Revit earlier versions before 2021 you may have to draw a slanted wall using massing and sight but from 2021 onwards there is this fantastic feature which we have in Revit that you can directly enter the value of your slanted wall and you will just have to create it straight away but before we get into the tutorial i'd like to ask you to go ahead and like this video share it if you have any question leave it on the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i make tutorials like this every week let's get started all right um here on this project to create a slanted wall the first thing you have to do for example if i were to draw this wall afresh all i have to do is just pick a wall taking note of the wall that i've selected all i have to do is just make a wall just like that or i select this wall and right click okay you see create similar and i select it and then i make a wall similar to the wall i selected so if you go to 3d you're going to see the walls i've made there now i go back to my level one and i want to make a slanted wall of this this particular wall when you select the wall you go to the project browser this is the project browser okay so all you have to do is to go down the project browser you're going to see cross section here on cross section there are two options on it. so you click here you see vertical you see slanted so if we select slanted you're going to see this box open up angle from vertical okay so here this is where you set up the slanted wall depending on which direction you want it to go you want it to go this way you set it based on the direction you want it to go now let's say we want it 45 degrees we just say 45 degrees okay and then you apply when you apply you take note of the notification above you're going to see on join elements so it's intersecting with other walls that's why it's saying on join elements if you don't unjoin it it can not work so you have to unjoin it before it can swoosh into the wall and appear as a slanted wall now let's go to 3d and see exactly what that means now look at this we have this wall projected there okay so because it's making contact with this that's why that notification popped up you can see it's slanted the other way around but by default it is zero when it's at 90 degrees now let's put it back on zero so here now to move it to this other direction where we initially wanted it is going to be a negative sign so it has to be minus 45 degrees so you apply it as you can see it moved towards the other direction all right now i return it back to normal zero apply now it's back to normal okay let me go back to level one here i also want to show you another thing that can restrain this from responding to your commands now watch if i pick dimension here and dimension this area just like that and dimension between this point and this point okay even if i don't lock it in place but because of this dimension it's not gonna work now let's try it let's go back to 3d so we can see what we are doing now if i select that wall and i go to our slanted here and impute let's say minus 45 degrees okay and say apply they're going to say delete dimensions so it's not going to work unless you delete the dimensions but once i say all right delete dimensions the dimensions is deleted and then you can now see the wall slanted that way 
now let me delete this because we are not using it now you can now see the wall slanted that other way if i go back to level one you'll notice that the horizontal part of the dimension has been deleted if i also want to make this other one slanted you notice that the dimension over there will also restrain it from happening now watch slanted and i say 45 whether 45 or negative 45 is still not gonna work okay you see delete dimension so unless you delete it it's not gonna work but in this case we're not gonna delete it so all right and then let's go back to 3d so you can see how the wall is this is how to draw a slanted wall using revit 2021 and above now with this we've concluded this tutorial and i just like to ask you to go ahead and like this video if it offers you any value at all share it and subscribe to this channel because we make tutorials like this every week thanks for watching